How's it going, guys? So there's this new game I just started playing called Dreamscaper, which is a roguelike with Souls-like ARPG style gameplay. By Souls-like, I mean similar to Dark Souls, and roguelike means the game is permadeath, and you have to completely start over if you die. However, I think I read a review saying you could skip bosses if you already beat them in previous playthroughs, so maybe there is some progression between runs, which is, those are called roguelites, rather than roguelikes, L-I-T-E. Um, so I don't know, like I said, this is the first time I've um, started playing this. What's, what you're watching now is my first time fighting a boss. I was too tired to do live commentary for this, but I might record more later with live commentary. It's kind of interesting, I just started playing Diablo 3 recently, and was thinking that it would be cool to have ARPG style gameplay that wasn't so fast paced, and also similar to Dark Souls. Then I came across this game which seems to fit the bill perfectly. But I've only just started this game, so I can't really give my opinion yet. Like Dark Souls, there's roll dodging, blocking, and parrying. I forgot I could block in this fight, and maybe I should have done that instead of dodging for some of these attacks. I should also clarify that by ARPG, I mean games like Diablo rather than action RPGs in general. And more broadly, I'm referring to top-down, zoomed-out perspective, which is common both in Diablo-style games and roguelikes. Uh, I actually played another roguelike recently, L Wizard of Legend, and was kind of disappointed. While I would recommend it for people into roguelikes and dodge rolling, I wasn't that into it. Um, partially it was just kind of hard and I didn't really feel like, I just was, didn't like enough to really grind the difficulty. Um, by grind I mean just repetition, because you lo it's roguelike so you lose all your stuff when you die. So I'm, I'm kind of just soured on the whole roguelike genre in general, but I'm much more optimistic about this game. I actually spent a lot more on this game than I normally spend on games in terms of money but I feel like I needed this now so right now it's on sale for $16 which is 20% off I know that's not a lot for some people but I usually like don't pay more than $5 for a game the game is in early access, which means the developers are still adding new stuff and balancing everything properly. Also, the price might go up when the game is finished. Um, although there might also be better sales at some point, so I don't know. I don't have a lot of time to record Let's Plays, but I might record a bit more of this if people are interested. So please let me know in the comments, and be sure to like the video so I know what you want. Well anyways, thanks for watching guys.